to my channel. My name is Gino and today I'm going to be reviewing the Loewe Hammock. In part one you saw me review the... like this hammock, which is actually on the smaller... smallest um, iteration of the hammock that they've ever done. Like, I forgot to mention that this pocket here, it's purely decoration. You can put AirPods in here, but that's about it. In comparison, this bag can carry just about anything. Now, this too is a Loewe hammock. This has to be the largest bag that I have ever seen. Like, this is luggage at this point. Let me, let me just do a 360 so you can actually appreciate. Now, this is a beast of a bag. Like, this is so large, heavy, unwieldy. Absolutely no way that I can ever use this in my, like, as a weak work bag. <sighs> okay, here we go. Okay, now dimension, what did I put in? Okay, the base length here is 50 centimeters, height, oh no, width, sorry, is about 25, and the height is, well, about 48. Now, I'll leave uh, further information about the history of this bag and and all that jazz, but today is just going to be about a review of this bag. <laughs> now, God, I am just out of breath already. This thing is so heavy. All right, let's go through some of the features. Okay, so unlike most other hammocks, this one is a special collaboration with the same people that actually helped redesign the most... Uh, the, the current logo um, that they use on um, for the Loewe brand. So it's made by the same people, well, collab with the same people. On the sides here, oh, okay. there's some like, these look like pen illustrations um, of you know, just some artists. I don't really know who uh, who the artist was or what it's actually supposed to depict, but from what I gather, this bag was designed with um, with artists in mind. Like you're actually like an artist is supposed to use this to carry their um, their equipment, and but this thing is so heavy. How on earth can anyone ever think think to use this? Okay. And by the way, if you're wondering where I got this from, I mean, the things that you find on Vestia... Ugh. All right. So on the front here, it comes with this large flat pocket. Right. And on the front panel here are even more pockets with silver hardware. Uh, the Loewe logo is over here. And the, and the company that um, they collabed with, their logo is actually embossed here. Um, there's also a hook right there. I still don't know what this is for. Okay. Flip. Alright. And on the other side here is another flat pocket where you... Uh, for more storage options now. Okay. I can't, okay. I cannot carry this bag. This thing is so freaking heavy. Okay. How am I going to continue this review? Okay. Now, it still has the same features as most hammock bags. 
It has the zipper gossets where you can actually unzip it and give you even more space. But I mean, you really need to open this. It comes with two top handles on either side. Now the leather here, I believe is untreated leather, the same as the Louis Vuitton Vachetta leather. So I do imagine that this will darken and patina over time, but it's still in relatively good condition. Uh, okay, so it's got silver hardware. Now, this is a pre-loved bag, so I have no idea where this mark came from, but whatever. I got it for a pretty good price considering what it is. <coughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Now the interior is suede. Yeah, it's suede. And on the inside it has pockets on either end. Can you see? If you can see towards the bottom, that is the name of the um, design company down there. And just like all well, the other hammocks, it has these. In this case, it actually has two um, two attachments here, where you can attach it to the D-ring on the other side to give it partial closure. Now, okay. Alright, okay. I won't even attempt to close it, like to hook that because it's kind of pointless. But I am trying to fold it into the classic hammock shape. Okay. Alright. So this is what it looks like in its closed form, which is its. M which. Well, this is really the only way you can carry it. So this is what it looks like, proportional to me, because I'm short. And this is what it looks like when you put it on. Ooh, I'm already breaking a sweat here. Okay, I even fit in the shot. Okay. There is absolutely no way that I could ever bring this bag outside of this house, but I'll explain why I got it. Okay. Oh, as a side note, in its uh, when you when you um, when you store it, you'd have you have to put stuffing on the inside. Otherwise, the sides because they are just so heavy and the leather is so thick that they actually the sides actually just collapse in towards the center. And I believe that's that may be why this mark appears is because this front panel had bent like this with when it was stored. So that might cause um uh that might have caused it. But uh okay. Uh, yeah. Alright. Well, I have to put a giant pillow in here just to be able to stuff it. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. So the pillow is in there now. This is how it's stored. It takes up so much shelf space. Like, you might be thinking, why own such a large, cumbersome, ridiculous bag? It's, you can't even use it for its intended function. <sighs> well, I'll get to that. Now, I did mention earlier that this bag, I believe, was designed with artists in mind. So... Okay, so... This is the alternative way to carry it with the gussets outside, but it just looks so lumpy. So, luckily I have some paint brushes right here. I'm going to attempt to put some 
in this pocket. Next this is what it looks like when you actually do try and use it for its intended purpose. Okay. Now, what do I put on this pocket? Well, I guess I have a tin of pencils. Let's put that there. Yeah. Let's put another paintbrush, maybe. Um, what else do I have? I have a tube of paint. Yeah, okay. So that's what that looks like. You could definitely put put a lot of stuff in here. And this and uh, yeah, it's just got a lot of pockets. I don't know. Yeah, you can put whatever you want in there, really. Like for for what is this? What is this? Yeah. Okay. Does this thing even have feet? Yes, it does. Okay. Yes, it does have feet. However, because of the weight of this bag, like, like this, these, this side here and the, and the opposite side, they actually do make contact with the ground so that these feet, they're, they're kind of pointless. Okay. Let me find, okay. All right. So the reason I got this bag was because this is a limited edition bag. Now when I say limited, I literally mean only seven pieces of this bag were ever made. And I own number six. If you can see here, it's on this side. Yeah, it says six of seven. So there's only seven bags that are in existence and well, the reason I got it is because I like to think of myself as a, as a custodian of um, Loewe bags. Like, even though they are meant to be used and to be, um, yeah, just to be used, like, I just feel like I just needed to have this bag in my collection to preserve it and to just to keep it um, safe because its previous owner already damaged it. So, if anything, this bag has now come to a good home. It's going to probably just sit on my shelf forever. The only time I ever took this out was for a couple of mod shots, but otherwise, this bag. Uh, what were they thinking? Why is this bag so heavy? Uh, why did they have to design this so big? Okay, all right. Well, thank you for watching. I think I'll just stick to my regular small bag. So, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Next week, I have a very special bag coming. So, as soon as I get it in my hands, I will be making a video of that. So, stay tuned, and I will see you then. Bye for now.